Hi everyone, this is Michael Dougal with Remax Premier. Thanks for tuning in to my video blog. Um, during this video, I'll share my predictions for 2019. But first, let's recap 2018, which has been very similar to 2017 in terms of the demand for condominiums and demand for what's affordable, like properties that are priced below 600,000. In November, that's November 2018, sales were at a seven year low. There was 6,251 sales and our months of inventory was at 2.6 but you really don't want to use that as a gauge because it was different across various style of homes and some styles were actually very competitive so the condo market experienced double digit appreciation and property that was affordable was definitely in demand and a big reason for this was because of the stress test that came into play in the beginning of 2018 which you would really expect to cause a lot of downward pressure on our market Although due to things like population growth and a strong economy, the average price deal did still happen to increase. The suburbs of Toronto, especially the luxury market, have really experienced quite a correction over the past 18 months. Although keep in mind, this was also the market of homes that really did experience remarkable appreciation back in 2016 and the beginning of 2017. So what my prediction is for 2019 is that homes will sell relatively faster. Our days on market, I expect to decrease by about 30%. Although as far as average price is concerned, I'm expecting it to be stable. Um, there are some exceptions to that, like Durham region where properties still sell for 500,000 or so, they should experience a five to 7% increase. And the condo market, I wouldn't say it would experience double digit appreciation, more like four to 5%. And the reason for that is the price gap between condos and freehold properties is just a lot less than it used to be. So there has to be a point of time where buyers stop and think, okay, should I really buy a condo if I can spend slightly more and I can buy a freehold property, which has advantages like uh, no maintenance fees and actually having land value. Now, if you're a seller and you're considering selling, what we typically notice just through studying the patterns and the trends is that during the first quarter of the year after the holidays, there's typically 15 to 20% more inventory, so more listings which are on the market. There may slightly be more buyers, but there's a significant jump in inventory. So for this reason, you wanna put your property on the market as soon as possible, right? There's gonna be buyers back from vacation, agents back from vacation looking to buy, and in most areas, there's very few listings. So something to think about, um, if you're considering selling, buying, investing, you have questions, I'd love to hear about it. Call me. Uh, my number is 416-671-5218 or send me an email back. Um, if you can think of anyone that may as well find this information useful, just uh, forward the email over to them or copy and paste the link on YouTube. As always, I love feedback, so leave your comments below and I'll look forward to seeing you guys next time.